Afternoon baseball now from the home of the Reds since 2003. Great American ballpark. Today the third and final game in this three game series between the Miami Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati have lost their last five games. They'll attempt to break that streak right after this. Oh I love me some Jerry Hillsdale you have to come over those 17 inches he ain't giving you anything on the outside corner and that's the way it should be. So the base hit here nets him a base runner with two away as we check out the league leaders in team batting average here in May and you can see there they're just one place off the top spot in the NL in that category. And that misses ball four so it's first and second now with two out. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. Great. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. As the Marlins have taken a three to nothing lead. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very. But the Marlins strike for three on the three run home run. Bottom of the first coming up from Great American Ballpark. It's 3 0 Miami. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3 0 to punch him out. One away. Oh, and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Wow, well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Crossing the Ohio from Kentucky into Cincinnati there as we're set. And he chased it in the dirt. Throw down to first, one away. There's our line score through the first four and a half, and these guys have basically had the bats taken right out of their hands. Just one hit to this point. The one and two pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Rojas gloves it, and there's one down now. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there he in fact leads the NL in that category. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Now a swing and a miss by Votto and he'll head back to the dugout as out number two. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. We're moving along into the later innings and this guy's throwing over 60 percent of his first pitches for strikes a tough take on a good pitch and he struck him out strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Little chopper back his way. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for Cincinnati still down three nothing. Austin Bryce will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Hey, Eugenio Suarez is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Here comes the 0 1 swing and a drive to right there it goes and it's gone as they add still another.
solo shot to right center. 19th home run for him on the season, and the Marlins open it up now, four to nothing. Yeah, and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here, but with a four-run lead, it could be a non-save situation. So they might get the rest of their close of the rest of the day. Four runs feels awfully good. But the Marlins tack on one more courtesy of the solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's now 4-0 Miami. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. He was lucky to foul that one off. On the ground to third. On to first, and now the Reds are down to their final out here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Popped him up. Catch is made, and the Marlins will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, they're making it look awful easy out there. That's nine wins in a row. That's right, nine wins in a row. And by the way they're playing, I see no reason why this streak is going to end anytime soon. They're just playing great baseball. 4 nothing to score this afternoon. The Marlins hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Jose Arena earns win number seven on the season, so that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.